Hey, it's Kenny with HelicopterGround.com. We're going to take a look inside the Private Pilot Study Guide so you know exactly what's in it, answer some of your basic questions. I am Kenny Keller, creator of, Helico creator of Helicopter Land Ground School. First, we got to pay the bills. Heather is our member concierge. She can answer any of your questions at 574-767-1797. She can answer all your questions about membership, and she can also um, set you up to talk with Daniel. He does our one-on-one -on -one custom membership options. And you can also go below and just do a self-sign-up for any of our monthly memberships at HelicopterGround.com. We're going to look at the Private Pilot Study Guide. And I also want to mention down below, Heather will ship you this for just 7 bucks shipping and handling. Top 10 checkride tips. And you can get the free PDF down below. Same thing with Helicopter Checkride. We'll ship you that for just 7 bucks shipping and handling. Heather ships you those direct. So those are on our site at HelicopterGround.com. That link is below the video. Whoops, wrong one. HelicopterGround.com, it's directly below. And I'll type Heather's uh, member support number down there too. So private pilot study guide. First question, uh, we're getting a lot of people saying, well, is this, is this for the written? No, this isn't geared for the written. However, anything on the written test, of course, is fair game. There are things in here that you will see on the written test. That is not what it's geared for. Our operations manager, Brian, uh, Brian Rutledge, 30 year aviator, CFI and helicopters and, and fixed wing. He built this off the practical test standards. And yes, when it changes to the ACS, we'll make any changes, but the information is gonna still be valid either way because this is the kind of stuff an examiner is gonna ask and we're gonna show it to you. So we've been showing you the outside of the book and the cover and what we went through to get it made. So now that we've decided this is it, it is shipping. And as of today, 48 people have ordered their copy. So. As we mentioned before, got a nice cover. This one's been beat around. <laughs> I was in the Jeep on the way out here, and it was windy, and the thing blew open, the pages started going crazy, and luckily, none of them got tore up. So, nice covers, spiral bound, and we, we took your feedback when we decided on the final version, okay? Of course, all kinds of people have different ideas on how they would like to see any book or product. We looked at the feedback, and went with what was most popular and what we also thought was going to be best for what we wanted for this project. So it's available only at this time in this spiral brown notebook. And the idea is we want you to be able to sit down to study. And let me say, this is for serious inquiries. This isn't for you if you're trying to do a 15 minute quick prep for a check write. That's not what this book is about. This book is for someone that wants to sit down and you're going to spend, you're going to spend hours going through this if you want to hit it cover to cover you're going to spend some time in here so let's just be clear this isn't for the weak this is for someone who wants to self-test before taking a check ride it really wouldn't do you that much good if you're a brand new private pilot because you want to start learning the information as uh before you start really trying to test yourself we also want to say, people say, well, hey, are you going to do a commercial? Are you going to do a CFI? Are you going to do an instrument? We might, and we're looking at those, but Brian and I agree. And anybody that's been through a check ride, you know examiners ask you the same stuff every check ride. What do you have to have on you? What's the aircraft to have? That's private, commercial, CFI. And when these advanced readings, sometimes you forget some of that basic stuff. So really, this is a good review for anybody before a check ride if you want to review the basics. Because you got to retain the, inform the information you learn as a private pilot, right? To keep yourself safe, you got to retain that information. So let's take a look. All right, as you know, we got the tabs. So we've got, bear with me here, air, uh, certificates and documents, airworthiness requirements, weather information, cross country, airspace, performance and limitations, operations and systems, aeromedical factors, General, general aerodynamics. The total book is, at this time, 183 pages, okay? So here's why we did the spiral bound. We want people to be able to sit down and open it up flat, right? We ordered one at first, it was a paperback. And you know how paperbacks are, it was big, but you got the crease in the middle and it's kind of hard to write on. We wanted a physical product that you can lay out on the table and work through it. So let's go back to the beginning. So what we do, and we're gonna use the first one, for example, um, in the beginning, you got a quick uh, table of contents over here, an introduction 
written by Brian. And then we have definitions and abbreviations because this is something that people ask for a lot. And again, I wouldn't recommend somebody brand new. Well, you could. I mean, if you're brand new and you really want to start learning what the abbreviations are, you could go through this really at any time, but it's also a good review getting ready for a check ride. And then again, written by, written by Brian is an overview. Okay, this is an overview of what the book is about and a little bit about how to use it. And again, we're gonna cover that right here in this chapter. So we've got each chapter separate. And what we did is, for example, Airworthiness, or I'm sorry, Certificates and Documents, you open it up, Brian gives you a little intro there, and then it starts going through the, the types of questions you could be asked. So I can't overstress how much when you go for any check ride, the examiners go back and test your, your basic stuff first, okay? So just example, what are the current requirements for day and night? What's the definition of night? When must aircraft position lights be on? When can you log flight time? We design it this way so that someone testing themselves can open this thing up and you could go through ultimately and write in your answers first, okay? You don't have to, it's your book, you can do what you want, but this is how we designed it. We want you to self-test your knowledge, write it in if you want to, and then it's basically repeated with the same question and the correct answer. So you can test yourself and then go through the same questions and see what the correct or correct answer's on, what the correct answer is. You know, we know that we learn through repetition. And we know that writing things down is a huge help. And let me tell you, I failed my first private pilot check ride, and that's why I went back later and built what we call the notebook that I based my original training on 10 years ago. And I knew writing things down helps memory, right? So that's the idea behind this book. This is how we designed it. This is for someone who wants to really excel on a check ride. One more time, it's not oh, hey, I'm gonna sit down and whip through this dude in 20 minutes just to test my knowledge, I'm gonna be good. I mean, you can certainly do that, but that's not what it's designed for. With 183 pages and over 400 questions, there is a ton of information in here. And we do have, um, Brian did put in some different references. Let's see, let's go to airspace. That might help, there we go. And there's the airspace question. So you go through, look at the chart, and he's asking you questions related to that chart to help you with airspace, because we know whether and airspace are the big ones that get people, right? We know this. Airspace is a pretty healthy section, and weather is the same way. It's a big, healthy section, because there's a, lot of to, there's a lot to it, and a lot of people struggle with all that. How can you get the private pilot study guide? It's on our home site at helicopterground.com. Scroll down and look for a big red button. You're gonna go past our subscription levels, we got some testimonials on there. Just keep going down till you find a big red button at helicopterground.com. That's where you can order the study guide. I'll put a link down below for helicopterground.com. That's where you can also get, as I said, Heather can ship you the actual physical copies. You can get a PDF below for free if you want. I'll put that below the video. But seven bucks shipping and handling, Heather will ship these to you direct. There you go. Hopefully that answers some of the questions. And remember, with everything we do, everything's a 30-day money-back, no-hassle guarantee. Everything. Because we believe in our products, we believe in our services, and we've had our 100% no-hassle money-back guarantee in place since day one, March 1st, 2012. So if you need any help at all, got some, go to helicopterground.com, self-sign-up options, get a hold of Heather if you want something custom, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.